Okay, now we're in C2. longer time to kill so what you want to do is just use your sword or your saber and you want to just slash them until they die and as soon as they uh, come up just slash them once with the hard slash and then uh, wait till they go back down and then repeat the process until it dies once again um, just because I want to raise my dexterity over the power for right now um, my power is going to gain gradually with my humor so I just want my hits to be more accurate and you notice that too as I'm playing the game and as I'm fighting against enemies every time um, my mag raises levels um, you notice that my hits are becoming a little bit more accurate as I play along. Alright, now this is a lazy field. Once again, there's a switch across on the other side over there. I'm going to go ahead and skip forward past this part and continue forth. If you wanted to complete that area, you definitely can, but uh, I want to just go ahead and fast forward through it. I did complete it, but um, for the tutorial, I'm just going to scroll through it. Alright, now there's a switch over there. We need to hit this switch, okay? To be able to get through this entrance, we have to access both switches. So I'm going to hit this one, and then I'm going to go around and uh, find the warp to be able to go to the other switch. safe against the lilies um, use your handgun um, if you don't use um, your mag properly as far as if you don't go ahead and put dexterity on it um, it's gonna be really difficult to use a handgun um, I've been fortunate enough to be able to attack from a distance using my handgun and as you can see as I'm shooting this nano dragon um, my hits are gonna be more accurate um, you're gonna see a lot less misses so that's why it's very important for me to have uh, accuracy when it comes to hunters early on in the game Oh, my God. 
This upcoming room is gonna be a switch along with the healing ring. The healing ring um, pretty much heals all abnormal statuses and also heals your health along with your TP. So that's gonna come in handy and um, when you go to a lot of stages that way you don't have to use any of um, your items from your item pack. slash um, to be able to kill the slime. Alright, this is another area. Um, I know that there's traps in here. Here goes another pillar column. So I'm going to use trap vision. Um, it's going to use the tracks, but I'm just going to get ahead for past this part um, but the trap vision is gonna you know show you where the traps are you can hit the switches and then you can go through those other entrances but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward I've already been through both of the rooms and I'm going to the third room to finish the stage see those little orange message beacons on the ground? I don't know if you noticed, but when I first walked into the room, it was uh, over there to the right corner. Um, right there on the ground, that orange little message thing. If you want to figure out the story, you're more than welcome to read those uh, message subplots to figure out what happened on recall. But that's it for C2. Caves 2 is officially completed. <laughs> 